out. I mean, I was doing publicity, and I suppose I'll be doing some of these shows now that my movie's coming out. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, because when the movie comes out, I'll be all over the place. You'll be cameoing everywhere. Yeah. Get yeah. your calls in. Yeah, I mean, I'll have something to promote. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll whore myself out, <laughs> and I'll whore my audience because my audience will watch these shows. So. It's like when my book came out, I decided, you know, I had that meeting with Lauren Michaels. I was going to do Saturday Night Live, but then I opted not to do it. You know, I mean, only do certain things. Yeah. And my feeling is with these sitcoms, the reason I don't do them is they write these really lame parts for you, which I don't think are funny. And uh, I'm not interested. I don't see why I would be on these shows. I don't, there's no thrill in it. So, what, so I can act in these shows? I'd rather act in my own film. i got to act in some goddamn sitcom. So then the next step is they call Robin. No, I don't. Sometimes. <laughs> I get very few calls. And Robin turns most of them down anyway. <laughs> so what they decide to do is they say, she whiz. She whiz. She's our whiz. Yeah, she whiz. <laughs> they go, how am I going to get Howard Stern to talk about wings? We'll hire Stuttering John or Gary or somebody. Mm -hmm. We'll get someone from the show. Mm -hmm. Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, gets Jackie gets some of that, too, but Jackie's, uh, they don't call you because they saw you on that one you did. <laughs> I thought auditioned for this role, Howard. Yeah. All right. Well, they called me about it for the role anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't have to audition. I had to audition. Yeah, well, because you're, you're starring John. So uh, you had to audition, but notice you got the part. You don't think there's better actors out there than you? The writer said that they never laugh at an audition tape, and this was the really? first they ever laughed at. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you, Many reasons I people laugh, John. Yeah. No, at, 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 at an audition tape. John, I tell you what. Send in an audition tape and tell them you're not associated with the Howard Stern Show. Show me how many parts you get. <laughs> well, first of all, how did so, he find out about this part? Didn't they call him? No, they, they, um, you know, they called to see if I wanted to audition. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. But they're telling you. You're yeah. not an actor, per se. Yeah. He thinks all actors get calls like this. Yeah. All right. You so, mostly you look at the trades and you go line up. So wait a second. So you got to audition for so much stuff I haven't got. Yeah, I know, you know, I know. So just listen to me. So they had called me and asked me, I said, no. I mean, Crystal Bernard's even called my home. Uh -huh. So I said, no, I don't want to do wings. It's not my thing. So eventually they get around to offering it to either Jackie, Gary, Gorilla, or Stuttering John. In this case, it was Stuttering John. So Gary comes to me and he says, can John be on wings? Uh -huh. I said, look, I like John. John's a, a good guy. He's paid his dues. I want to see him make some money. So I'm, I feel awkward saying, don't go out and make money. John can go do wings. But please... They were trying to use me for this. Don't use the name Howard Stern. But don't say what. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't say the name Howard Stern. Don't say Howard Stern show. I don't want anything to do with this because it's going to be a lame part. And here's my problem with it. John, I took John, a guy from college or whatever. I make him into something funny. These co these shows get a hold of him. Not only is he not funny, he's unfunny. It reflects poorly on me. And then when I want to use him in something, it's boring already. The audience has seen him in something. Why should I tailor make something for John? But I feel funny saying no because John is being offered work, and I know he'd be upset he if he couldn't. Get money for it. But I try to tell these guys, they're going to make you look lame. They're going to make you look bad. And then I'm not going to be interested in you because you're lame and bad. It's like Larry Bud Melrose, whatever his name is, on Letterman. Bud Melman. Larry Bud Melrose. That guy was funny. With Letterman, and then now he's on every TV commercial and he sucks. Why do you think Letterman's in use anymore? Because he's burnt out. But I'm sure Letterman was in the same predicament. He couldn't say to Larry Bud Melrose Green not to go do that. You know? He couldn't tell him not to do that. You commercials. You can't do those appearances. You feel funny saying it. I hate being in that. I always say to my guys, just return that stuff down. I thought it was very funny. Hold on. Hold on. Who cares what you think? You have no ability to see yourself. But Greg Gumbel called me at home. I know. How funny it I know. Greg Gumbel's a big kiss ass. <laughs> All right? All right. Greg Gumbel, I told Greg Gumbel to call you and say that. <laughs> yeah. I did. Oh, he called please. me up. I was talking to him. He said, do something nice. Hold John and tell me good. Please, uh -huh. All right. Don't believe me. <laughs> Could we anyway, get him right on the phone? Get him right on now? the phone. He'll, t he'll tell you the truth. Sure. All right. Get him on the phone. All right. <laughs> so, so, anyway, John then goes out to do Winks. <clears throat> And he does. And I don't want any mention of it. And time is passing by, and it's getting closer to the time that John's show is going to air. Uh -huh. And I don't want to be used. I know why they got John on there. Not only is he going to look stupid, but they're going to uh, they want me to promote it. They want me talking about John going out to Los Angeles and doing wings. So they start calling my agent. Oh, did they? Of course. And they go, why isn't Howard talking about John on wings? What's going on? 
He said, he told you guys, he doesn't want to do wings, and what you do is you go out and get the next guy, you get one of his guys, and you make him look at you. Howard doesn't have anything to do with the riding of wings. I don't know what he's doing. He's not into it. He doesn't want to be used this way. So what do they do? Wings goes out and buys a commercial on our show, a live commercial. A NBC. live commercial? NBC, by the night of the show airing, buys like three live commercials. You're going to force me to talk about John on Wings. I don't know what this thing's going to look like. I don't know how stupid it's going to be. But they're gonna, hook by crook, they're going to get my audience. Tune in for this thing. Well, I see the commercial, and I start reading it, because I don't preview the commercials when we do them. So I, re I see this whole big thing about funny stuttering John is on wings. Well, I hit the commercial. <laughs> Two seconds later, who comes running in the studio? Tom Chiazon. Ah. Those people pay good money for their commercial. You have to read it. I said, I don't have to do anything. Fire me. I'm not reading it. I'm not going to be used like that. What do you think I am, a chump? They paid for the commercial. I said, I don't care if they gave you $10 million. I'm not going to be used. Tish mein teches. He goes, what do you mean used? They're paying for it. I said, hey, first they asked me to be in his wings. I said, I'm not interested. They hired Stutter and John. I said, it's okay because I like John. I want him to make a living, but I want to be involved in it. I don't want to pay. I don't want to be involved or attached to this endeavor. Well, Tom said, you have to read it. I said, make me. How are you going to make me? Make me read it? How are you going to make me read it? You can't make me read something I don't want to read. You, you, this is a, I'm a man of integrity. <laughs> something you're not used to. I got balls. What do you think I am, a sluggo show? You think you boss me around? You think I worked all these years so you could, so you, a monkey, could tell me what to do? That's right. I didn't know all this had gone on. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to upset you. I didn't want. I was never going to bring it up. Is that right? But I never. Treasure. But here you go. Here you now. Now look what now look what I got to read in Entertainment Weekly. Entertainment Weekly trashes me every. Here's that. Yeah, yeah. They they trash anything you do. No, they trash me for what you do. Here it is. You ready? Loser of the week. You thought they hit rock bottom just when they had Kenny McCarthy on. That was until they had obnoxious Howard Stern sidekick stuttering John. All I know is that now it says Entertainment Weekly, obnoxious Howard Stern. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. Would say that even without me. No, no it wouldn't. wouldn't make I wouldn't have been on this. But if they think you're obnoxious, they think... No, 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 I don't know what they think. You have put me in a bad light again. <laughs> no, I haven't. This is what I've got to deal with when you do wings. Let me ask you a question. Why? Then I don't want to get ever, anyone else in trouble. But you know, it's like you have a problem with me because if Jackie does The Watcher or Robin does Prince of Bel Air, it's all fine with you. But if I do something, you you it, it, it like drives you crazy. Wrong. There's an inconsistency here. Wrong. Because you are the guy who takes everything. That's not true. Uh, now it's not true because I straighten you out. Radio wanted me. I, didn't I know. Do you know who called me? News Radio. They call you all the time. They I call said, you after they call me. I guess Gary. Let me tell you about News Radio. There's a guy who invented that show. You know what his name is? Sands. He was going to be the writer on my movie. And when I about uh, out, he went off and wrote News Radio to spite you. Didn't I turn that down? And I've turned that show down every week. So did I. Cause they yeah, he good. You're on par with me. Get out of here. No, Get out of no, here, you nut. No, wait. I want to. I want to. I want to speak my piece. Yeah. And and you're the guy who's writing book treatments and everything else. I finally got you. I finally got you under control. <laughs> I wasn't writing book treatments. Believe me, there's a big difference between you and Robin and Jackie. All right. It, it's yeah. All right. Explain that to me. All right. <laughs> I just told you. What? Robin ain't sending around a book treatments on I'm me not without. Either. I would never do anything. I, I see. I Howard, see. Howard, you know I can't. And let me tell you something. I called you at home. And let me tell you that? something else. Let me tell you something else. Listen to me. There's a big Robin difference before. between you and Robin and Jackie. And Gary. Gary big difference. Gary also plugged his extreme <laughs> fighting. <laughs> I told him that was okay. Yeah, so me, I, I would have done something to you. That's right. I, 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 you I, do I, something. You're obnoxious. I'm, I, in what respect? You're obnoxious. In what respect? When you learn respect and not sneaking around people's backs, not, that's my little work. Don't I, I always can have Gary come up to you? Now you do. You know? And don't have him come up to me so much. Reject some things on your own. I do. Good. All right. You, you, All right. Get you, out of here. Goodbye. 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 It's just not Did fair. you know? You know why they gave you a pedicure on wings? You don't even know why. A pedicure. Did you get a pedicure when you did wings? No, I called and got them. Um, no. 
Your feet smell so bad. Howard. Gary, come in and tell. Break the news story. I told Gary that. Yeah. You think I'm the one who came here and told that? You know that his feet smelled so bad they had to get they got him a pedicure. No, they did. I went and got it on my own because, because your feet smell bad. Yeah, and, and plus my nails were like talons. <laughs> and by the way, they told, him, they told him to go get one. I know. No, I know. Gary, I told you that. They what happened, Gary? I went and got one. Gary, tell us what and happened. Wait, you didn't tell me that the people said that your feet smelled bad? No. Yeah, they said my feet smelled bad, but I warned them before I took off my shoes. I said, guys, hold your nose. I mean, that's what, you know, that, you know, I had exactly because he warned him that his feet smelled bad, that it was okay. No, yeah. no it wasn't okay. No, I'm just saying. He's a professional. The bottom line is your feet smell bad. And, and the bottom line, Howard, well, how do your feet smell bad? It, it you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. He doesn't wear socks. I why does he wear socks if your feet smell bad? Oh, my God. Look, when I wear socks, it just smells worse. What is your problem? I don't know. Well, it happened this year. Suddenly I got bad, uh, 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 you know, BFS, bad feet syndrome. I don't know what happened. No, you know what it is? When you, let me explain something to you. I see a lot of guys, like, you're trying to make a fashion statement, you don't wear socks. <laughs> no, you are. You're trying to make I a fashion socks. statement. Yeah, I know you hate It's not a fashion statement. All right. Statement. What happens is your feet, the natural oils that from your feet go into the shoes. And they smell. And they begin it. to smell. Yeah. And people can't take it. It's a hygiene issue. I know. I don't know what to do. So you know what you do? You put a sock. You buy a new pair socks of shoes and you wear socks. Yes, they would. Okay, look. I you know, absolutely would. I'm wearing socks right now. You want to smell my feet? No. no. Okay, because they're gonna reek. If you were going to go do a show and you were gonna, wouldn't you buy a new pair of shoes? Because he wears the you exactly right. He he wears old shoes. Do you bathe every day? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Do you include your feet? Yeah. <laughs> Did you take a shower that morning and notice that your toenails were really long? Yeah, and the, and, the, and the, they got them cut. But why didn't you cut them before you went? Because I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so fat I can't see my toenails anymore. <laughs> Michelle, is that you? Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, I watched the show, and he did start out funny, but what happened was they dragged it out too long. Uh, it's bit about him yelling. I thought you, she, she can't smell a walking sock. Come on, this is ridiculous. <laughs> listen, listen, who just watches wings? Funny at first. This is one of the people watching. Listen, it. I don't care if you were good or bad on this Howard, show. I get to see the show. I just wish Rondo, I was great, yeah. and I was great. Uh, listen to me. Listen, <laughs> I was. listen to me. In private, Ronnie told me. He didn't think you were so good. Oh, that's BS. And then he, I said to him, tell me he's good anyway. Liar. Why would you hurt the guy's oh, feelings? you're such a liar. That's all. You're lying. I'm you're not the, lying. It was a funny appearance. All right. Listen, I, I wasn't... And don't insult like, my listeners. I'm sorry, ma'am. This woman's fine. Spell Arkansas, ma'am. <laughs> Please. A-A-N-S-O. All right, good. That's what close enough. A-R-A-N-S-O. Uh, okay. Say it. Spell it. <laughs> she spelled I don't right. think it was not as fun. It was the writers. They just dragged the bit on way too long. Right. And you just knew like what was going to happen. you got to understand that. something. I don't, I don't care if you were good or bad. But I'm I was not, good. And I wasn't stuttering. I don't care if you were good. Like I don't care if you were good or bad. Yeah. The point is, I'm now in Entertainment Weekly as obnoxious Howard Stern, loser of the week. They suck at anything. They, they, they have it in right. for the show. All right, good. They gave my book. A tremendous review. Don't tell me they have it for the well, show. Well, right, well, for you, they have it in. Yeah, you have look, crummy it's appearances. It's working. I didn't need you on wings. Yep, Howard. Howard. All right, thank you. I went to school for acting and all that. That's what I, I mean, I enjoy doing it. You know, I'm not trying to hurt you. I had it in the writer of my contract. Do not promote no, no, me. No, you had it in the writer because I would have ripped your head off if it wasn't. But whose idea was it? Writer. Whose idea was it? All right, thank Howard's. you. Howard's. No, it was mine, Robin. No, it was mine. I told, I've already instructed no, you 900 Gary. times. I told Gary you are not to be stuttering, John. Exactly. But but then when... He I, was it. Yes. And, and I know. And when because, I, but now he thinks it's an original idea. Yeah, he thinks it's, been, it's, it's, it's because he's been... It's because he's been... About five years. I had, to, I had to drum it into the guy. Howie. Mr. Books and uh, T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let me just say one thing. Thank you. When I heard about the role, I, t I, I, I took it upon myself and said, put it in the rider. I don't want any Howard Stern mentioned when you put oh, it. Oh, you took it upon yourself. This okay, thank you. This is an original thought. Yeah, thank you. I had to teach you what to do. That's how come it's in your rider. Rider. <laughs> now he's got a rider. He's got a rider, yeah. I wish you'd ride out of here. <laughs> no, you know, Howard, I've been loyal to you. I, I've done That's why you got to do wings. I just wish I didn't have to be involved. <laughs> Said, I, I had a sit and fight with, Ge with general manager Tom Chiasano. Don't think it's over with yet either. About now he's forcing me I have to do a commercial, he says. And I'm saying no. We'd had a fine relationship until you took wings. But I know that's you happy, so get out of here. <laughs> wings. Wings suddenly came to my life. You <laughs> said that wings flew off. Yeah, I wish the wings would have flown off. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're on the air. Yeah, John sucked on that show. That's the worst wig I've ever seen. <laughs> what is the worst? <laughs> yeah, I'm not being too selective with the phones. See, I should be out there doing the phones. What do you want from me? <laughs> I've seen wings plenty of times. That is the worst yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you suck, John. Yeah, you suck, you suck too, you fool. Look at you. Hey, yo. What? You suck. John, just admit it, you suck. 
Howard, this guy, I don't even think, I don't think he even believes you know, that I sucked. Okay. <laughs> he just, he, he, he's lying? He, he just took it on the air. You suck. Yeah, you suck. You suck. Listen, I, hey, you know what's great? That you had to watch me, and I got a lot of money for it. How much did you get? About, 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 about five, ten grand. Hey, see, that's why I let him do it. Yeah. So look, I make ten grand, but you don't make them three months, you jagage. I mean, honestly, it was funny. It well, was, I'll, I'll watch it. I don't you know, I was. I mean, I, you know, I can say. I mean, I've done some bad things like that last call show. I was horrible. Right. I admit, I sucked. Yeah. And what and, about that? And and for about a year and a half, I was in I was in a state of depression. I was a pro. A year and a half, you won a TV show that I, uh, I had to sit there and that now, now, now I didn't even want you on my show. But you know, because they, they ruined you. What do you think? They discovered you? you? No, I admit I was horrible, Howard. But on wings, I was I was. Mm, great. Okay. Howard, you know what's weird? You. Uh, you you know you make career mistakes, and 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 I admit that last call thing was a bad thing for me. Just like, you know, I'm sure you've made some... John, there's a big difference. I'm saying we all learn from our mistakes. There's the a only big way difference. Grow is Number one, I don't make career mistakes. And when I make... If I ever do make a career mistake, I have a forum where I correct it. Let me say something. Yeah. Your career mistakes reflect on me. My career mistake, mistakes only reflect on me. Unfortunately, because... I'm, in, I'm the master of my ship. Yeah, you know what it is, Howard? It's like, um... Like, you know, any... Uh, all right, thank you. All right, let me discuss my Robin. <laughs> now you can leave. You had your, now you had your wings discussion. Goodbye. I didn't want to have this discussion. A captain of the Titanic. <laughs> you look like a captain. Though. That's right. <laughs> You're my Titanic. Oz. All right, goodbye. Thanks. Wings. It's a garbage show. It's a good show. Yeah, it's a scream. That's why it got no uh, ratings. You watch the show? Yeah, it's really fun. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. It's really fun. They all like you. Too. You watch. Yeah, I care less if they, they like me. The of course they like me. <clears throat> they all like me, but they can't give me an award. Goodbye. And by the way, they are doing good in the ratings, Howard. They're, yeah, you know, sure they are. No, they did a 13 to Ellen's 14. So okay. It wasn't, it wasn't Thank you. Thank you. All right, come on. I want to move on. Yeah, I don't want to talk about you. Get out of here. I'm not even going to talk about you. Go. It's through with you. If I say goodbye, leave. You know, it, it's a long oh. walk. It's a long walk. I'm going to come all the way back. All right. Hey, how is the delay? They ball? lost to Ellen DeGeneres? And, uh, yeah, Ellen and, 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 and then he goes They get beat by a lady. They get beat. They're third. They're third. They tell me they're doing well. They're doing well. They're they're they got beat by Annie. Annie. There's all three networks. Ellen <laughs> and Wings. Wings is the third. Jesus Christ. I mean, he says they're doing good. No, they are doing well. All right, thanks. All right, come on. Get out of here. I want to move on. They, Leave. They sure can hang around for a little while. <laughs> you beat by two broads. <laughs> well, Jay Leno was on this was on this show, so yeah. I, was, you know, I was against the king of late night. <sighs> You're boring. Leave. Leave. Leave, John. All right, I'll leave. I want you out of here now. That's it. He's going to try to ruin two shows in one week. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's going to need a finger like that. And you're not allowed to do that. Oh, they all they can't get mad at you. So yeah. They always get mad at me. Yeah. I'm sitting over here, I haven't said a word. <laughs> He's using a finger. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't wait to talk about Wink. I talked about it. And all I know is I had a huge fight with Tom Chiazano over it. You got to read their commercial. I said, I ain't reading nothing. If you think I'm going to be a chump and get used like this, you're insane. I'll be goddamned if I'm going to sit and read this free commercial. Don't you tell me. What do you think? I'll let those guys win? I'm at war with anyone. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. Right, Jackie? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you're a boss. I, I, I have a family life. I'm not at war with anybody. I like everybody. Yeah, I don't understand why you get so worked up. Because I have integrity. That's why I'm successful. What's that? Why do you have to have that? What is that? What does it mean? <laughs> that, 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 that word has missed my entire life. Has missed my entire vocabulary. Integrity. Give me all the old records on the phone. They want to give me five grand. Well, what can I say? Tell me something I don't know. I am not working. <laughs> yeah, they give you a big one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why don't we take a break? All right. We'll come back and we'll uh, do news. What time is it? I don't even have a clock Nine in ten. here. Nine. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Fred woke up. It's 9.09, Robin, All right. in New York. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs>